Best-selling author Jane Heller has earned rave reviews and legions of fans with her novels about the ups and downs of romance and relationships. Her latest book is called The Secret Ingredient. This one deals with putting the magic back in a marriage. Jane Heller, how you doing? I'm doing well. How this are you? One, I'm fine. This one's a bit of a departure for you, isn't it? I mean, this isn't your usual girl gets guy. Right. Us. I decided to take a break from The Girl Gets Guy because I wanted to write about real marriage, real long-term relationships. What goes on after that wonderful beginning period where everything the other person does is miraculous and you don't notice a fault. And then you slide into that every day. What's for dinner and did you take your Zoloft and all of that good stuff. Thank you. And, uh, and, and you know, maybe you end up looking at the guy and going, who is this person? What happened to that fabulous guy I fell in love with, and how do I get him back? Well, wait a minute. It ever, ever occur to you, maybe the guy looks at her and says, what happened to this little petite thing that I married? Absolutely. Who was so sweet and wonderful, and now she's wandering around in curlers, and she's twice her size. Absolutely. I think it's, you know, women are the nitpickers of the relationship. We get the guy, and then we immediately want to change him. But I Why think is that? I don't know. I don't know, but it's, it, it, I believe it's true. And the men may feel the same way, but they're just not as verbal about it. You know, Thank I you. think it's what you just said, but I don't think they, I think they suffer in silence. Is it true that the idea for this came actually from a friend of yours? Yeah. We were on the phone and she said to me, God, it drives me nuts when my husband leaves the sticky ring of orange juice on the counter. And I said, oh, if you think that's bad, my husband sheds those English muffin seeds on the floor. We started laughing about these little benign but irritating faults. And I said, how come we didn't notice this stuff in the beginning? You know, when we were first dating and courting and there was that adrenaline rush. How, and I, I really wanted to write about that. So this book involves somebody who decides she wants to change her husband. And she goes to some fairly unusual lengths. And long story short, she winds up changing him into something she really doesn't like. Right. Perfect, what she thinks is perfection. Right. Did you mean this book to be then pure entertainment? Or is there kind of a message to your girlfriends in this? Both. I think that the, it's supposed to make you laugh. I mean, I think every woman has said, if only he would change, if only I could change him. You know, and so giving your maid a magic potion, which is what happens, um, is a, you know, irresistible premise. Um, is there a message? Yeah. There is no such thing as a perfect mate. You can have love, you can have passion, you can have compatibility, but not perfection. And even if we could have it, I'm not so sure we'd like it. And is the message, love the one you're with, be happy with what you got? I think so. I mean, stop not, trying to change the guy, leave trying, him alone, stop yes, nagging yes, him, yes, yes, yes. get off of his back? Yes, 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 yes. I love that. Yeah. So um, you like this book. <laughs> this is a good book. You said you, said you needed a break from, from what you were doing before. Are you sure your viewers, your viewers, your, your readers are going to want the same kind of break, or have they come to expect something different from you and not really like the change? I think they'll, it's, it's the same as the other books in the sense that I'm writing about a real woman, and I'm writing about real relationships with a little suspense plot and humor and all the elements that I think I've done before. Yeah. There, an off, a number of your books have been optioned for films. When you write, do you see them as a film? Never. No. I just write the books and I hope that, you know, uh, somebody might enjoy them as a movie. I think The Secret Ingredient will, will sell as a So film. as you're writing this, you don't see Sigourney Weaver never. wandering around doing no. something? You never, you never see a character going? No. I mean, Sis Boomba, my sixth novel, Julia Roberts Production Company optioned. Yeah. I mean, and you're supposed to go, oh my gosh. But I never imagined yeah. her as a heroine. You're, wor you're at work on your tenth novel. You only did your first one uh, eight years ago. Are you amazed at how far and how fast you've come? I am. Because as I said to you before, I wanted to do play by I play for the New York Yankees. I so. love this. You're really a Yankee fan. I really am. So you ought to write a book about a woman who's a big baseball fan and her Next friends one. don't quite understand that. Next one. See you there? Jane Heller, this one's called The Secret Ingredient. Good luck to you. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Same to you.